SH investigates corruption. In this episode, we play another round of Monopoly. This is my first time playing Monopoly. Let's see how it goes. Test fast food locations. We want today we're going to prove how fast food places are. <coughs> they always lie to us. And try to fool people with AI portraits. So for this challenge, you have to guess which one of these six photos are an Armenian historical figure. I'm Naomi Manuk, and you're watching SHTV. Welcome to SHTV. I'm your host, Naomi Manuk. This is the first of our two satire episodes designed by the secondary force. The first one is about corruption, which fits perfectly with SHTV because we're corrupt. Let's take a look at fast food. Hello everyone, today we're going to prove how fast food places are <coughs> They always lie to us El que quiera perder su tiempo viendo el video que lo pierda Pero este pollo me lo voy a comer entero En tres minutos Empecemos Subway is well known to serve 6 inch sandwiches. 6 inches is 15 centimeters. Right now we're going to check if this the sandwich is actually 6 inches. Oh my god! As, as you can see, the sandwich is 15 centimeters. Oh, what the heck? So for team does not correspond to six inches. Y nos fuimos. Can I have a cup of water? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Dale picante. Dale picante. In fast food places, the hot drinks have to be 160 Fahrenheit. Uh huh. As we saw, um, the maximum should have been 160 Fahrenheit, but it's slowly the passing the limits of 160 Fahrenheit to 180. Okay, hello everyone. So today we we have three McDonald's fry sizes, and we're going to be looking at the price per gram. <laughs> now for the small fries. We get three point thirty five grams. That comes out to one dollar and eleven cents per gram. So now for the medium fries. When we lay it out, we get 3.25 ounces, which leads to one dollars and forty-one cents per gram. Oh my God! McDonald's is cracking us. To conclude, we can see that we are paying more money for almost the same price per gram in the small and medium orders. <laughs> now we're gonna see if the medium drink will fit in the small cup. I'll do. There is no juice left and it filled the whole cup. Ready? I'm 
Ja. Da eigentlich fühlt es sich bis jetzt in den Händen. Das ist das Video. Oh, ich hab ihn gelöscht, Chalanke. Lass es ihn mitnehmen. Oh, ich glaube, du hast schon gesagt. So here's the crew, number one on here, then we got Arden, CV, Sevi, the project manager, that's the worst one yet. And then we got me spectating. <laughs> I'm currently standing in a classroom governed by a society who might have a shady educational system. Hello, today we will be walking around the school and I will be showing you how amazing it is. They always play it fair. Every student at our school is ready for the future. What's one plus one? What do you think? What's two times two? Oh, I think it's a pretty good decision, but uh, I think I have to go to seven on the I mean, uh, What's two times two? I think it's six people actually. What time are we on? The moon. So here's our school's latest investment, the Kreala.
All our students are very dedicated to their studies. Remember that homework we had last night? We had homework? I guess I didn't, I didn't do it. The staff here is always available for our students. Today we will be voting for class president. Vote for me, guys. Vote for me. If you vote for me, SHTV will get 1,000 subscribers. Boom, son! Off the stage. <laughs> or you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just One of the most corrupt sports in the world is soccer. And if you don't like that, confront the secondary 4A students. They had the chance to sit down with Paul Bedrosian and ask him five questions. Hi everyone, Coach Paul Bedrosian here. Um, currently coaching the Hunsik Braves U15 uh, youth boys uh, soccer team uh, that we're currently playing under the home and MN banner. What motivated you to become a coach? Um, you know, I'm someone that loves sports and I think it was important for us to uh, keep our Armenian kids together uh, under one team. Um, unfortunately, uh, Home Night Men, we lost our sponsorship under the league. So uh, myself and uh, Coach Albert, uh, we decided to, uh, you know, devote our time to keeping uh, you boys all together. Have you ever been a victim of corruption? Oh, funny you should ask that question. Uh, last year uh, in the playoffs, um, we were playing this team that uh, decided to use uh, ineligible players. Um, seeing that we knew pretty much uh, all the opposing players, we realized uh, some guys shouldn't have been playing. So luckily some parents uh, filmed these guys and uh, we actually submitted the footage to the league. And uh, although we lost that game, it was uh, eventually overturned uh, into our favor. Have you accepted any bribes from anyone? Uh, come on, Zada, you should know me better than that. Uh, my ethics wouldn't allow me to take any, any form of bribe or anything like that. Um, but uh, to be honest, totally off the record, please stop filming. Uh, I do have some parents that uh, have come and given me some uh, you know, a little something something so that uh, uh, their players can come play a little more than they, uh, they should. Have you ever felt treated unfairly by the refs? Um, you know, I, I hate to say yes, but uh, that is the case. Uh, you know, sometimes pre-game in the warm-ups, uh, when we see the refs coming in, uh, high-fiving and hugging the other players, it kind of gives you a little uh, a moment of reflection saying, hey, this game is not going to go the way it should. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, we are definitely on the receiving end of some bad calls. Definitely. As a sports fan, have you witnessed any corruption in professional sports? Uh, you know, I'm coaching soccer right now, but I'm a big basketball fanatic. And uh, a few years ago, uh, in the NBA, a professional referee uh, I think his name was Steve Donahue. Uh, he was caught actually uh, shaving games for the mob. And uh, uh, he actually went to, to jail for about 10 years, I believe. Uh, 
So uh, pretty crazy. Uh, something pure uh, like sports uh, um, gets sullied by uh, corruption. There is one board game that brings out the absolute worst in everybody. Let's play Monopoly. Monopoly, the game that ruins friendships. This is my first time playing Monopoly. Let's see how it goes. Advance to the next nearest rainbow. If unknown, Give me the property! You know how to property! I know how to Do you know how to play Monopoly? Do you know? Give me! Take your stupid rainbow! Give me $200! Actually, I'll spend that again. Okay. And just like that, the games have begun. I would like to buy this property, please. Yeah. The games are getting really boring. Let's fast forward. <laughs> Red is two dollars. <laughs> Did that change? No. Just give her the fifty. No. Why not? How about you, you know what? It, you you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. It's two dollars. It's two dollars. Uh, um, what? What? Um. And just like that, we created the lines. <laughs> <laughs> I have that. Huh? 25. Wait. 25. Wait. You can't talk to each other. No. 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 Can I have the other square world and I will give you five dollars and you'll have the game. <laughs> Is that a joke? No. Gali, do I look like a joke to you? Stop talking. You shut up. Crack dilly dack, patty wax, mix snack, crack pack, slack mac, quarterback, cracker jack, bio feed pack, backtrack, thumbtack, sidetrack, tic tac, you think you're doing. At this moment, she knew. She flipped up.
This ice cap is low key busting, but girl, tell me what's happening right now, please. Finally, Jesus Christ. Hmm, I want to go on a walk today. I wonder what's the weather. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? It is currently rainy. News reporters do not recommend civilians going outside. You'd be better off staying home. With me. Where's my phone? I'm right here, my love. Oh, man, that's so weird. I'll never leave you again. No, I will change for you. In 2024, one thing that is very common is the use of artificial intelligence. That is the topic of this week's SHTV challenge. Hi, I'm Kani Boshkunyan, the host of the SHTV challenge. I think we can all agree that one of the most corrupt organizations here in Supago is definitely SHTV. And I hope that this week's challenge finally gets to the bottom of that. Let's see what it is. Hi, I'm Sienna Jabran, Challenge Master. This week's challenger has to guess which photos are AI generated and which ones are real. Wait, the challenge is to just show AI generated pictures to people? Ugh. That's not gonna expose the CHTV. I'm sad. But anyway, let's see who our challengers are. Bonjour, mon nom est Armand Dubois. Je suis un enseignant à l'école et j'accepte ce livre. Wait, it's them? Are, are you serious? Let's hope they don't embarrass the CHTV. Most importantly, the school. Because then the principal is gonna be mad. But, uh, let's see how they do. I have to guess right now? Yeah, wait. Oh. Okay, so for this challenge, you have to guess which one of these six photos are an Armenian historical figure. In English or in French? French. French, okay. Okay, est-ce que je peux procéder par élimination? Oui. Oui. Lui, il a l'air sûr avec son chapeau. Fait que... Peut-être qu'il portait un chapeau turc puis il était arménien, mais on va l'éliminer pour faciliter la chose. Si vous, pouvez, vous voulez, vous pouvez... Donc, on peut retourner. Je... On va l'éliminer, lui. Lui, il a l'air un peu russe, puis... Euh... Je sais pas, j'ai l'impression que ben, la religion c'est important, mais peut-être que c'est pas plus politique là, que religieux, donc je vais, je vais le revirer. Là, les autres, ça devient difficile. Lui, euh, il ressemble à un Italien, généré par un EI. Ça, ça a pas l'air généré par un EI. Ça, ça a l'air un peu généré par un EI. Ça, on va dire que c'est généré par un EI. Puis ça aussi. Enfin, il me reste ces deux-là. Donc, vous pensez que ces deux sont les figures voilà. arméniennes? Voilà. Vous êtes faux. Ah oh, ouais? Oui. oui. OK. Vous voulez une deuxième chance? Vous voulez ou deuxième... on vous le dit? Ou vous voulez la réponse? Ou... Non, je donne-moi la réponse. Ah! Bon. You know what, well, actually, that looks like fun. But what I want to do is create an AI-generated version of me so I don't have to sit here all day listening to Mr. Lou's commands. But see you next week for the next SHTV challenge. Oh, set me free, Mr. Lou!
education system. Human trafficking. Politics. Sexism. Life. Life. L'injustice. Racism. Socializing. Boys. Gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to rumble! This. What's not fair? SHTV. Thank you for watching this week's episode of SHTV. Over the course of this episode, we looked at many different types of corruption. Let's look at one more. Oh, it's the end of the day. Oh my god, I'm so bored. Where's the Anton Bedros? Hello, Mr. Lu, how are you? Have you done your homework? We had homework? Of course you had homework, why haven't you done it? I swear you said- Please, please, my parents are gonna get mad. Please, Mr. Lu. No, get out of my class, go, move, get out. Oh, get out. Oh. Go, 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 go. Mr. Luke, please! Get out! Mr. Luke, please! Go away! Where's that on team? I'm gonna kill him when I find him! I know that voice! Antoine! Antoine! Are you here? You mother!